Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage. We're going on a quick little adventure jumping over the Ben Franklin Bridge to New Jersey, which is about uh, where I'm going to is about two hours for me, maybe an hour, 45 minutes. And uh, I've been uh, chatting back and forth with Mark, AKA Skippy, uh, for a little while after he stopped at our shop to visit for a Sunday service. He had mentioned he had a friend who has one of his relatives had passed away and uh, had a, what they were calling a jungle full of old cars and stuff. And he was sending me photos and of course I got super excited. There was F1 pickup trucks with flatheads in them. Uh, there was an old Ford with a with a Chevy 409 in it or a W uh, Chevy engine in it. There was, was old stock car stuff. There was just stuff all in the woods and the fields and buildings. And I've been trying for about a year now to hook up with them to get uh, a chance to go there and look around, of course, make a pile and, and buy some stuff. Um, he had been sending me some of the cars they've been pulling out and there wasn't anything that really excited me, but uh, I know that there's some good parts there. My spidey senses are tingling, so I know there's gonna be some neat stuff. So finally, uh, he helped me uh, organize with the family that I could come by, do a little bit of picking, document the adventure as we always do, and uh, show you guys what we find in this uh, little jungle of old parts in New Jersey. So let's hop in the truck and uh, let's get going. So this is one of the cars that was pulled out of the uh, the yard here, and uh, you can see this is an old old hot rod. It's got the pleated interior. Everybody's everyone needs a creepy doll, but you can even see it even had at some point it was probably a pretty finished off car. It had this little upholstered boot around the shifter. Has some Stuart Warner gauges in there. It's obviously rough, but what's really interesting is the uh, what's under the hood is some people might yell, but I think it's actually pretty neat. So it's not it, it's not a 409, right? You guys checked and it wasn't right, it's 348. 348, but it has tri power intake on it. The like factory in factory 348 tri power. Yeah, and it's it had two of the carbs blocked off, but. Still really neat that this car was running around with this engine in it, not as common, but really, really neat. Neat car, so we know we're gonna see some neat stuff digging around if this is what they pulled out already. So we're gonna walk in the back and and uh, start looking around, see what we could find and go on another adventure here. Old camper. So what's this, it's an old motor home you said? Yep, it's one of about 16 built. I think you said it was, I don't know, 35, 36, something like that. Well, this is, uh, this is a 37, 37, 38 Ford with that front grille on it, I believe. I wow. I arrived to the coach builders with a complete rolling chassis to the cowl, and then they built everything from there on. This is incredible. I love it. Oh, this would just be so awesome, but it's uh, it's seen better days. 
Oh my god. That's the heater over there. It fell out. Oh, hit <laughs> the heater that was in it? Oh my god. Let's see, there's a sink, cabinets. That's still got the still got the dashboard in it and all that. The cow stuff is all still there. But look at this. This is crazy. This thing had to be wild driving down the road. Oh, it had to be amazing. Just a beast. Yeah. Let's see here. Yeah, that does look like a. Yeah, it's a. Um, it's a bit. It's a bigger one, but that's probably what they were using with those axles. Yeah. Yeah, it's a. It's an old. Problem is, they're usually. Yeah. Look at those pistons. But yeah. That dome. Oh my. Holy crap. But yeah, this is uh Mickey Thompson's. Man, I wish nice. the whole set was here. That would be neat to just have. Yeah, this is uh clock or something. Yeah, these are the same way. You don't know with these old ones if they're broken or they're usable, if they're right. But I have a lot of parts for them. I mean if he if you think he'd get rid of something like this I can put it on my pile. I don't um He it, might. I mean I'm not even sure if we knew it was laying there. Parked it here, it was sitting on those rims. Oh my god. The tree has picked it up. Yeah, holy crap, you can see the... <laughs> Look at how the... You can see that the tree has just grown around the cage in it. Yeah. Amazing. And taking it back Amazing to... Nature, oh my god. And here's the fuel cell from it. The seat from it is right back there. Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Uh... Might be some parts that are salvageable. Oh yeah, that's cool. It's rough, but it might be usable. Yeah. And an old hot rod, it's a little cut up. There's a huge stack of radiators back here. When I started. Oh. transmissions everywhere you look. Oh that's man. What they ran. Yeah. He yeah, got a lot of his old, uh, here's the, this was probably the gas tank for it. It's an old um, bomber air tank they would use for him. Oh, there's an engine. Oh, there's a Y block back there. A number of them back here. Wow, yeah, you can see the tree is growing through the fender on this side and this side. It's actually smashed the fender in. Mother Nature is stronger than steel. And he said it was hit, it was hit lightly in the corner when it was. that back then they probably would have totaled it but today you know it's fixable yeah same thing with the driver's door can't even get the door open without cutting the tree down and it's got a 72 Gloucester County College sticker on it oh yeah there it is got hit in the passenger rear corner Talk it off the road. So what year again? 70s or 80s? 60s, uh, 60s oh. of the car or the accident? That When the car was parked in part here. Uh, 41 years, so oh, wow. was that 79? Yeah. yeah. We'll just take a look at what's... How many cars are back here? Two, three of them? Four. I don't know if you can get to them through there or not. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, they're buried. Holy crap. Is there a truck back there, maybe? Yeah, it's another 64. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Another Buick.
the old Ford pickup. Wow. Shame about that Chevy. It's a two door too. Engines just going back to Mother Earth. But you gotta take a look, because you never know what's stashed in a little corner or spot that nobody else wanted to look in. But a lot of this is just so far gone, unfortunately. A lot of this stuff out here is kind of too far gone or nothing good. So we're gonna start checking in some of these, in some of these truck bodies to see what we find. And which way does this loop? Go that way. I'm on the wrong side. Oh yeah. Does not open. We are not getting the other camera in there. There's a lot of stuff in here. Ugh. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff in here. My gosh. I'm gonna need to turn the, uh... oh, I like this. 47 to 52 flathead parts. All right. Speaking my langu language. Unfortunately, I didn't bring a flashlight with me, like a dummy. Yeah, me too. I'm going to try and use the phone light. I see something of interest. It's kind of adapter. Ford Trans to Chevy motor. Probably from an old stock car type deal. I'm interested in that in the pile. Mm -hmm. We found something. Maybe I should have just started here. <laughs> Would have saved ourselves a lot of time. I don't know if there's anything. I can't. We'll probably have to get out in the daylight. There's an old Superior wheel. Let's see if it's even usable or. All right. A little toolbox in here. This used to be. Drop you down a little bit. You guys can see what we're looking at. So, a lot of this stuff has just been sitting too long and it's too far gone, but I still like to try and dig because you, you know, you could save a couple pieces that might get thrown away when the time comes. Whoopsies. Trim rings. I don't know what the heck that is. No idea. Oh man. Striking out. Let's 
cheese. This is some sketchy stuff. Hey, there's a uh, piece of a, oh, there's the horn button. I found the horn button and some of the pieces for that superior steering wheel. <laughs> All right, I think I found some. These are interesting to me. Oh, there's only one, watch, there won't be a set of them. There are, uh, there's old, of course the Mousies made nests in them. But they're little, like the little air filter, you know, pep, pep boys air filters. You would hope, but of course they're not matching. There's, there's one of one type, one of another. But I buy a onesie twosies and then I put sets together over time, over time. You know your tri powers got, uh, oh, there's a, there's a, literally every style in here. <laughs> one of it, like you said, he ran, he ran one carburetor, yeah. but, and all of these are one style. But That's hilarious. Yeah. I don't think there's one matching air cleaner in here. What if there's a side door on it? Wow. That means there's not gonna be anything good in it because it was too. Holy sh Nikes. Filled to the brim. Old furniture. Paintings. Yeah, that'll be my luck. There's no car parts in here. It's all it's all the old stinky furniture they got through. Some baby moon caps for Probably check one of these wheels to see what they fit. Hold on. Rochester. I have no interest, but it might be for that car. Oh my God. I want to know what's up front. <laughs> Oh, this is, oh my God. As I'm about to call it quits in this area, I find some car parts. Some quarter walls right here in the front. Some kind of Schaefer flywheel. Four fifty eight. That's cool. If not, we can we can just tilt it down. Yeah, tilt it back. Um, all right. Hold it on such a slide. There you go. Just watch that button on one side. Let's just get it. Yeah, maybe that's right. Maybe oh, but now it's easier. Here, more here. That's it. So got pretty much everything offloaded. Don't pay attention to that stuff. That's still from uh, the Washington, Oregon trip. But um, what we have here is my load from New Jersey for the stuff that I got. Uh, gonna go through this stuff just really quickly and show you guys what we got and my, and my thought process behind why I picked some of this stuff. Uh, a lot of people seem to like that when I've been mentioning that and it may help you when you're out picking on your own. So, go through this stuff real quick. So, 
Um, I got a set of five. I think the fifth one I threw on the side of the shop already because it's an oddball. Um, but I got these, uh, there's 16 inch Ford wheels, later ones like four and a half inches wide. They came on uh, some of the trucks and they came on the 46, 48 Fords. Those are kind of what I call bread and butter. I get them anytime I can find them. And then I got this single one here that has an old tire on it. Um, I pick those up all the time. It's always nice to have a set if they have kind of matching crappy paint because it looks great on an old hot rod that's got also crappy paint. So got those. Um, the family actually gave me this old Eastwood uh, fall of 89, uh, little digest size catalog with a uh, purple 32 on it, which is pretty cool. So that's kind of neat. Put that on the shelf somewhere. Uh, so I got one of these Wyand um, air cleaners. Everybody talks about starting on fire with the foam inside of them. Um, it was just something I grabbed just because it's you know one of those cheap items. Sometimes I just grab stuff that's affordable, not always trying to hit a home run, but if in the end it works out and somebody can get it. So this here is a Ford accessory um, spotlight with the mirror in the back. Let's see here. So. If you guys are trying to learn about this stuff and trying to, you know, buy and sell and f afford your hobby like I do, one thing to look and a little tip is anytime you see a spotlight type deal and it has a mirror in the backside, that's usually pretty good. Uh, it depends on how good it, it depends on what it is for how good it will be. So this one. Uh, isn't as good as some other ones, but it's a Ford accessory one. They made Ford and Chevy. I didn't know it was a Ford accessory one until I got it home and actually looked at the part number. Uh, they made Chevy ones, which are quite a bit more valuable, but the part number on the bottom here actually tells you that. And I actually just kind of familiarized myself a little better. I just had a hunch. Um, but it's a, a model H1, but then there's like an F, I think it's FM afterwards for Ford Motor Company. Uh, if it had like a CH on it for Chevy, would have been probably a bit more valuable. So I'll clean this up. This will be something that um, these I actually usually sell on eBay. For whatever reason, they do better on eBay whenever I list them. Um, we'll clean it up. We'll see what the chrome looks like. It might be crap and, you know, that might not be that good. Uh, a really good one could be a couple hundred bucks or it might be a dud and be 25 bucks if the chrome doesn't clean up very well. Um, this is a... GM like accessory uh, windshield washer bottle uh, with the little bracket. That's just another cheap little item I grabbed that was digging pretty hard and striking out. So I grabbed some stuff that was just cheap, affordable stuff that people like to have. I got all these neat little different style air cleaners. I think I only got like one pair that's matching. I think this style. So I'm going to keep the matching pair for myself. And then uh, I'm going to see if I have any that match these in my stacks of them. If I do, Maybe I'll put a set together and sell them. If not, I'll probably just sell the individuals because um, I know a lot of guys collect these and it, they look great on a old crusty hot rod. If you got these old air cleaner covers on them, they look pretty neat. Uh, Buick drums, that was something that um, Mark was telling me that uh, his friend who owned all this stuff uh, used to race like sprint cars and, and different dirt cars. And he had a bunch of these Finn Buick drums laying around that they used to use. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them were not stored very well. Like you can see, these two have mud on them. And uh, these ones fared okay, but some of the other ones got water in them. They were stored upside down and they actually froze and cracked. Um, some of them had the fins all broken off because they weren't stored nicely. But I got two sets of these. Uh, even though Speedway makes them, remakes a kit or sells a kit that's pretty affordable, a lot of guys still like the old school original Buick drums, especially for building a car that has some age look to it. These already have the age to it. So with these, you can drill all the rivets out and press them out and push the hub out. Um, and then you can re-drill them and fit a 46 to 48 Ford front hub in these. And you can run Buick drums on the front of your early Ford. And guys have been doing it for a very long time. And these are always desirable, although they do not bring the type of money they used to back in a number of years ago. This, I was digging, I found a bunch of old beer stuff that you guys might have seen earlier in the video. Uh, Mike, I pulled a bunch of it out and Mike kind of told me that it was not really worth anything. So I left it behind for the family to resell. Uh, it just wasn't something Mike collected. But I grabbed this for myself that says, we do not serve minors. I thought it was kind of funny. It says, we open and close. So I'm gonna find somewhere to hang this in the shop. It's just kind of funny. I like to keep some kind of keepsake a lot of times from almost every pick I do. So kind of fun. 
Uh, I've got an oil temperature gauge. It's an old store Warner one. Unfortunately, the capillary tubes broke it off, but oil temperature is a little harder to find. I don't see them nearly as often, so I'm gonna hold on to that in case I need to put a set together. Got uh, Oldsmobile um, visor mirror, vanity mirror that clips onto the visor. It says Oldsmobile on it, that's kinda cool. Again, not worth a ton, but it's a good, good stuff to resell for cheap. Um, I got a couple of these superior steering wheels. You can tell they're earlier ones that have the little guy flying off the steering wheel, which is kind of cool. And uh, those, again, not worth a ton of money, but they're fun little stuff that people like to buy. And um, we got a Schaefer aluminum flywheel. I'm not quite sure what it fits, but it has an insert in it. Uh, so those ones are a little better. It's not an all steel one, or all aluminum rather. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see, we got a Speed Gems. Uh, we don't think it was ever used, but this is, uh, and it has, even has the pilot pushing adapter there. Um, that's a small box Chevy to early Ford transmission adapter. So that's always, again, like I like to call it, bread and butter stuff. And this is a Halibrand 301 quick change that uh, looks a little crusty because it was stored poorly. Uh, in the back of a pickup truck, I think they said. But it does turn over by hand. Um, it's a Torrance, so it's not a super early one, but it's also not real late. Um, but it's, it's got the old school, you know, quick change look. This is the larger style one that you would put floating axles in or you could put adapters on it to run uh, early Ford um, Bells. Uh, it was, I couldn't leave it behind. It's a fun little thing. If you like hunting old speed stuff, anytime you find something that's finned, old aluminum, you gotta grab it. So I grabbed this, I'll probably pass it on because I like the 201s better. But this is actually a pretty good one. I don't know if it was really ever ran, it's just dirty from sitting and the way it was stored. My uh, wild card item. A lot of picks, I find a wild card item that I pick. Um, and that is just a matter of, I have a hunch or some weird feeling that it might be worth a little bit of money and I'll buy it, and sometimes it's a dud, sometimes it's great. You guys remember earlier in our 2020 challenge, my wild card item was that, that banjo steering wheel on the column, and I got like a thousand bucks for it, so um, that is how that stuff works sometimes. So this is a ding -a -lings old, I guess it's 70s, I think, toy, but it's in the box, and you know I thought it was kind of cool, and the box was actually in decent shape, so I grabbed that. Um, I already kind of looked it up and I think maximum it might be worth 50 bucks in the box. So it's not worth a lot, but hey, 50 bucks is 50 bucks going towards the whole lot. All right, and my last, uh, I actually got two wild car items. Uh, these are a set of uh, Monitor Junior New Old Stock mirrors. So these are like chrome, like camper truck towing mirrors. Um, Sometimes they're called West Coast mirrors, but uh, I know that with the van stuff getting really popular lately, the 70s van stuff, and even some of the um, 60s and 70s pickup trucks getting popular, some of these accessories for the 60s and 70s stuff is getting uh, pretty hot and actually is bringing some decent money. Uh, so I saw a pair of these in the box. I actually didn't even really open them up, so. Um, oh, there's one. But yeah, I mean, they're actually, like me as a kid, I remember these, my dad having them on his truck and really weren't anything amazing, but they're hard to find because they got beat up and a lot of people threw them away. So that's a little um, little wild card item. That I think I've sold some of them before and gotten over $100 for a pair of them. So uh, it all adds up that that one I was a little more sure, the toy, not so much. So um, between the two of these though, I should do okay even if I get a hundred bucks between the two of them. That's a, that's a nice little chunk in my whole entire batch. So last thing I got was this mobile, this old Wayne gas pump. It's an old mobile gas pump. Uh, this was sitting out front of the garage and I actually didn't really even ask about it because I just figured that the family didn't want to sell it. Usually when you see these sitting out front of a garage of a car guy, it is not something that they want to sell. But uh, after just kind of mentioning it, they, they said that they might want to sell it. We talked about it and the price was reasonable. So I drug it home. So that was kind of my coolest item I got, uh, other than the quick change at the very end. Um, this thing is gutted, so it has no, it has the dials and all the stuff in it on the top end, but all the bottom pump stuff is out of it, which is actually kind of nice because it wasn't super heavy. Um, so it's in really good shape overall. It's got the, all the um, porcelain, like may contain lead 
signs on it. It's got the porcelain mobile on the one side, the other side's not there, but it's got the other lead sign there. It's got the original um, pump on it. It's still got a lock on it here. So you can't even take the pump off, which is kind of funny. Um, so it's pretty much all there. Of course, the globe isn't there. Um, you can get reproductions to, to put them on it, but it's just a nice, solid, not rotted out, honest um, old gas pump. And you know what? This is actually the first time that I've bought a gas pump on a, like as I call it, in the wild, um, on a pick. Uh, again, usually they're really expensive or they're, um, or they're really, really rough and I don't even want to try and mess with them. So this one was a good one. Uh, I thought about it the whole night dr driving home and then overnight before I unloaded the truck. And I think I'm gonna pass it along. I really want it for myself, but I really don't have a great spot for it. And sometimes stuff just doesn't speak to me. So this one is not speaking to me, but I think I'm gonna pass it on. So I'm gonna list this on my Instagram. Probably by the time you guys see this video, it's already been sold if it does sell because they're pretty popular. Um, but you can see this is a good, good old one. And I think the pump, yeah. 29 cents per gallon, so you can tell you how long ago this thing was was in use. So, super cool, super fun. Uh, I want to thank Mark for giving me, um, spin this around. I want to thank Mark for giving me the chance to pick there and hook me up with his uh, friends who are the relatives of the stuff uh, that we were digging in. That was really fun, really cool. Uh, if you guys saw some of those old cars in the uh, that back woods area that maybe you would have interest in. Uh, you could send us a message or an, or an email and I can try and hook you up with the family if you are serious. These cars are very rough. They will not be very expensive, but they are very rough. Do not waste my time or their time. So you need to be prepared to pull the stuff out and uh, carry it home for yourself. Uh, so you need to do some labor. So please respect the family. And uh, if you are interested in the car, make sure you're pretty serious. So if you send us an email and it seems like you're serious, we will pass you on to the family, let you guys do your deal. I don't want anything out of it. I just wanna see this stuff get saved. I can't save everything. I can just skim some stuff off the top that I can keep for myself and sell along to other people. Uh, if you guys are interested in some of the parts that we're listing, again, a lot of this stuff has probably already been sold by the time you've seen this video. So make sure you join Instagram if you haven't and uh, look up Iron Trap Finds, all one word. That is our sales page, and that's where I'm listing a lot of this stuff from the adventures that you're seeing us find. Uh, this is a place that you can get the stuff really fast uh, right after I get it. So a lot of times the stuff that people are buying, they already have it in their hands and hung on their wall, and then they see the video where we dig and find it. So it's really fun, and it's a way that I can pass the stuff along and save me uh, the insane fees that eBay charges uh, every month. So uh, thank you guys for watching appreciate it. Let me know what you thought of our most recent pick. Thanks guys. Catch you later.